Four years talking to the Bible. Just so you know, for four years, there were Christians telling me, dude, you're wasting your time with this guy. He's too hard-hearted. You've been preaching to him all this time, having all these discussions, and he's still not believing. And my view was, I do not believe that we end up in the same room together by coincidence. As long as he keeps coming back, I'm going to believe that he's wrong. But I'm not going to say, oh, you're taking too long here. The Beal eventually becomes a Christian. And he told me afterwards, he said, Christians actually have good reasons for what they believe. That the New Testament documents are alive. That Jesus died on the cross. You can show with 99% certainty that it's true. He's still going to believe in Islam because he's 100% certain that Islam is true because of the scientific miracles of the Quran. Because of the miraculous, perfect preservation of the Quran. Because Muhammad is the greatest man who ever all these arguments that he had. It wasn't until he saw that lots of the claims that Muslim da'is, their preachers, use are filled with false claims.